Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, October 22nd, 2024, and this is our daily bread. The title is, Let Jesus Rule My Life. It's from Zechariah chapter 5, verse 1 to chapter 6, verse 15, and the key verse is chapter 6, verse 13. It says, It is he who will build the temple of the Lord, and he will be clothed with majesty and will sit and rule on his throne, and he will be a priest on his throne, and there will be harmony between the two. I looked again, and there before me was a flying scroll. He asked me, What do you see? I answered, I see a flying scroll, twenty cubits long and ten cubits wide. And he said to me, This is the curse that is going out over the whole land. For according to what it says on one side, every thief will be banished, and according to what it says on the other, everyone who swears falsely will be banished. The Lord Almighty declares, I will send it out, and it will enter the house of the thief and the house of anyone who swears falsely by my name. It will remain in that house and destroy it completely, both its timbers and its stones. Then the angel who was speaking to me came forward and said to me, Look up and see what is appearing. I asked, What is it? He replied, It is a basket. And he added, This is the iniquity of the people throughout the land. Then the cover of lead was raised, and there in the basket sat a woman. He said, This is wickedness. And he pushed her back into the basket and pushed its lead cover down on it. Then I looked up, and there before me were two women with the wind in their wings. They had wings like those of a stork, and they lifted up the basket between heaven and earth. Where are they taking the basket? I asked the angel who was speaking to me. He replied, to the country of Babylonia to build a house for it. When the house is ready, the basket will be set there in its place. I looked up again, and there before me were four chariots coming out from between two mountains, mountains of bronze. The first chariot had red horses, the second black, the third white, and the fourth dappled, all of them powerful. I asked the angel who was speaking to me, What are these, my lord? The angel answered me, These are the four spirits of heaven going out from standing in the presence of the Lord of the whole world. The one with the black horses is going toward the north country, the one with the white horses toward the west, and the one with the dappled horses toward the south. When the powerful horses went out, they were straining to go throughout the earth. And he said, Go throughout the earth. So they went throughout the earth. Then he called to me, Look. Those going toward the north country have given my spirit rest in the land of the north. The word of the Lord came to me. Take silver and gold from the exiles Heldai, Tobijah, and Jediah who have arrived from Babylon. Go the same day to the house of Josiah, son of Zephaniah. Take the silver and gold and make a crown and set it on the head of the high priest, Joshua, son of Josadak, Tell him, this is what the Lord Almighty says. Here is the man whose name is the branch, and he will branch out from his place and build the temple of the Lord. It is he who will build the temple of the Lord, and he will be clothed with majesty and will sit and rule on his throne, and he will be a priest on his throne, and there will be harmony between the two. The crown will be given to Heldai, Tobijah, Jediah, and Hen, son of Zephaniah, as a memorial in the temple of the Lord. Those who are far away will come and help to build the temple of the Lord, and you will know that the Lord Almighty has sent me to you. This will happen if you diligently obey the Lord your God. Daily Bread First, God's Justice and Cleansing Zechariah had a vision of a flying scroll, which represented a curse that God would send to the houses of thieves and liars. This vision shows how serious God is about sin. He has zero tolerance for it. 
Sometimes we might try to make excuses or think our actions aren't as bad as others, but in God's eyes, all sin is wrong and he loves us enough to confront us about it. God desires to purify our hearts so that we live with honesty, purity, and integrity as defined in the Bible. When you face temptations to cut corners or compromise in your spiritual life, remember God's desire for purity in his people. Pray like the psalmist in Psalm 51, Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Let this conviction guide your actions and help you to live the right way, even when the world around you may not. Second, Jesus as our priest and king. The imagery of Joshua being crowned and the reference to the branch in Zechariah's visions point to Jesus, who is both our priest and king. As our high priest, Jesus stands between us and God, offering the perfect sacrifice for our sins. As our king, he rules with fairness and peace. It's important to recognize and embrace Jesus' dual role in your life. As your high priest, Jesus makes it possible for you to be close to God. What a privilege. So come to God in prayer with confidence, trusting that Jesus paid the price for your sins. As your king, let Jesus rule and guide your life. Make decisions based on his word, following his example of doing what is right. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your justice and for providing cleansing of my sins through Jesus Christ. Help me to live with spiritual integrity and rely on Jesus as my high priest and king. I open my heart for you to guide and lead every aspect of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. One word, Jesus is my high priest and king. 